I love your tagline for Marie TV, the place to be if you want to build a business and life you love. And yeah. every time, I love the way that you play around with it too. Like in your intro, sometimes you're just like super goofy with it, which is awesome. Yeah. So can, can you explain, because I know it's not just like, they're not empty words. Like this is no. like really your whole, like everything behind it and how your business runs and your content goes. Can you kind of talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. Like how that tag light drives everything. Motto or tagline? Do you say motto or tagline? Um, I actually don't refer to it that often, to be honest. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, it could be either. I think if yeah. I do refer to it as it relates to Marine TV, it's tagline. Mm -hmm. If I think about life motto, it's everything is figure outable. So, yeah. Okay. In terms of those words, you're right. They're not just empty words. Mm -hmm. um, joy for me is one of my highest values. I think that, you know, we're here on the planet for such a short amount of time. And as you get older, you start to realize how short it really is. Mm -hmm. And there's no reason we shouldn't enjoy it. We are going to have pain. We are going to have suffering. We are going to have loss. We are going to have grief. However, there is many, many pockets that we choose to fill up with stress and strife and overwhelm and just wanting to tear our hair out. And that is a choice. And mm -hmm. so for me, building a business and life you love means really a tapping into what is it that I most want? What are the kinds of activities and projects? What's the difference that I want to make? Who are the kind of people that I want to surround myself with? And who are the kind of people that I want to make a difference to? What is going to help me express the most joy, feel the most joy, share the most joy, have it be fun, have this whole thing be enjoyable? Because I mean, Peg, let's face it, what, in a hundred years from now, you and me and most of the people listening, are going to be powder. That's right. it. Done. Right. right? But that, it, but it's possible that someone could watch an old episode of Marie TV and be inspired. Yes. Like, think about that. I, it's kind of cool. And it is cool. So if I can, and I think that one of my, you know, all of us have gifts. Every single mm -hmm. person on the planet, every single person listening right now has a set of unique gifts that no one else ever has had and no one else ever will have. And you have got to, when you're on this planet for this short amount of time, figure out a way to share what makes you uniquely you, because it's the only expression you'll ever be. So one of my gifts I know is being goofy and being <laughs> joyful and being playful. And so for me to have a vehicle in which to share that, and I've realized as I've grown this business, I've been doing this again since like the year 2000, the more I share my joy with my team, you know, yeah. it's not, it's a show in the fact that we have a set, now we have a team, I have outfits, we have lighting, like that's, that's a show, but it's not a put on. That's no. how we are all the time, yeah. everywhere. Yeah, and, and that's obvious. I mean, it's so obvious that it's all like, it's planned and organized, but organic. And I, I read this study recently that talked about how people who are younger, like people who are like, you live longer if you're immature, <laughs> which, which, <laughs> which I've been saying for years, like people are like, how are you so young? Like you seem so young. I'm like, I'm immature, I think. And there was a study that actually backed it up. Like the less serious you take yourself, the longer you're gonna live. Peg, you gotta send me this study because this I is backing up it. everything. People are, they, I hear the same thing all the time. I'm like, yeah. I, I don't feel very different than when I was like 17 or 18. I have right. the accumulation of wisdom and experience and I'm responsible. But mm -hmm. besides that, all bets are off. <laughs> I know, same, same with me, same. Like, pe honestly, people think I'm like decades younger than I am. I would I never say, I would never say how old I am. But um, yeah, and, and I'm always, I always tell people it's because I'm immature. And that part of it, like the playful, like you just yes. don't take yourself so seriously. Why? And humor is really healing. Humor yes. is extraordinarily healing. And, uh, you know, I was reading something, I was actually writing, uh, working on my book, and um, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan, love Game of Thrones. There are certain shows that I just obsess over. That's one of them. And <laughs> Caitlin Stark, for anyone who watches and you're a nut like me, there's a line where she says, um, uh, laughter is poison to fear. And I'm mm. like, mm, I love that. So anytime that so you know, we're afraid or we might feel fear, if there's anything that we can find humor in or be a little goofy about all of a sudden it loosens everything up and you can see things from a brand new perspective and most likely be able to move ahead. Yeah, definitely. I totally am like that. Like if there's an emergency family crisis, whatever it is, humor, number one, like I am there with the jokes, like down, I'm down for making everyone laugh because yes. it, does, it makes it better.
And I will say this, you know, back to your original question, you know, in creating a business and life you love, I think from a really practical standpoint, think about how much time all of us spend working yeah. on a daily basis. It can be anywhere from six to eight to 12 to 14 hours sometimes. And mm -hmm. over the entire course of our lives, it's the biggest part ostensibly, right? Unless you yeah. were born with a trust fund or you have a completely <laughs> different reality, which is awesome. You know, you're living in, but for most of us, for most people, you spend the majority of your life working. So yeah. my point of view is let's enjoy it. Let's create the business that we love. There are no rules. We get right. to write the rules. And that's part of what I love helping people do is yeah. going like, hey, we've got this canvas. We've got these incredible tools. We're living in a technological time where the possibilities are limitless. So let's really be intentional about what it is that we're creating and make sure that it works for you.